Hey y'all little lebs, it is Sister Card here. Hopefully y'all are having a great day. I'm having a great day. We're back to Anime Champion Simulator because we're going to be going over dungeons. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks. I have some maps for y'all because I have mapped out the first four floors and uh, some just general information. So if you have not already, please make sure you smash, smash, smash the love a like button. Do the same subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. It helps me a lot and let's just get right on into it. First things first, dungeons. You need to get to the... Sword Art Online map in Galaxy 2. There's a whole quest line you have to do in order to unlock it. Once you've done that, you are now able to access dungeons not only in Sword Art Online, but also in the second Galaxy main hub. Dungeons are once every two hours, and they run for a full hour. The floor layouts remain the same. So I have some very nice labeled floor maps for y'all. For those of you who have not gone in, or if you're missing parts, so this is floor one. Uh, there is two orbs. I do not know which one is which, but I do know that as we go through the different floors, we are going to be seeing different ones. So floor one, two shrines, the entrance, and the boss. So in order to go to the next floor, you have to defeat a boss. The boss also drops a really nice chest. This does not, like, once you get it the first time, it doesn't respawn. All the little gold areas you see around the map, that is treasure. Those are treasure rooms. They either have a boss or an obby you have to do or mobs. And that chest will respawn the next time you go back in and you defeat it. So here is floor two. I also wanted to give you all a map because if there's parts you have not explored, there's some stuff you're not missing. Uh, other big tidbit is if the room is significantly bigger for the gold ones, that means that it is a bigger treasure room. All floors have two shrines, by the way. So if you're missing a shrine, uh, go ahead, check those... Uh, Blue icons. Next we have floor three. Also another little bit of a tidbit. This is not something you can do like solo. You can do it in a group. And I would recommend doing it in a group. It's going to help you out a lot. Um, and also while you're running around, your teammates will appear as arrows on your map. So you'll actually be able to see where people are going, if they're on different floors, things like that. Floor three does have three orb locations. And this is floor four, or this floor, try saying that five times fast. Uh, there is four orbs here. I have labeled them with what they are because these are the higher end orbs. So how these orbs work is basically it's an increased chance in order to get basically the rare things. You can get summons, all that good stuff. I will have to say this floor is a little bit rough because of where that northern shrine is. Can I count the number of times and how long it took my team to get up there? Or when I went a little more solo trying to get up there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the boss. So this is the stats for the boss for floor four. Yeah, he took my group a while to get through. I know some will be able to get through it because it is the same as the spirit trial. And this is what I have of floor five. We did venture into floor five. We did find the boss room. It's going to be on that right hand side. And the entrance is just kind of smack dab in the middle of the map. But unfortunately, we're, no, we're not able to unlock any other rooms. A lot of the mobs had 40Q. 40Q. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a lot of health. Now, some tips I have for you is if you do not have a whole lot of dashes, or you are lazy and don't want to dash all the time, you can use any ground mounts in the dungeon. Meaning the wolves. Nothing that flies. If it flies, you can't use it. But if it doesn't fly, it's free game. So I would recommend using it because it helped me out a lot. The other thing I would recommend if you're doing this in a group, fan out and try and clear rooms because the game kind of meh. And a lot of people are talking the same unit. So spreading out also was help. And if your teammate unlocks a zone while you're clearing, then you get credit for that unlock. So it's it's a little bit better, especially in earlier zones. If you're just getting together with a friend to say unlock the first map or the first floor, fan out. Don't stick together. Yes, we all like to be together, but honestly, for just opening up the map, Fan out. I will say that as you get into the harder floors or the further floors, it does get harder. 
so kind of keep that in mind um also i don't think there's going to be any orbs in the fifth floor because uh we found the sao orb in the fourth so going back right now to explore the fifth floor really doesn't have any incentive other than seeing the boss stats now why do you want to do dungeons well getting to the sao orb you can get a very high chance to get a summons you can get a very high chance to get summons from other areas as well I will let you know you cannot backtrack once you have gone to another floor. So if you have, say, gone from floor 1 to 2, you cannot return to floor 2. So when you're done with it, make sure you're done with it. And also keep in mind, you get an hour to do this. There were several times I was running around like a monkey, trying to get stuff done in this dungeon. It's... you have an hour, but also keep in mind, there are times it will take you 5-10 minutes to run across the map. And it is, it is a rough, rough grind. <laughs> now, my thoughts on dungeons overall. Honestly, if you can get together with some friends and do it, it's kind of worth it. But at this point in the game, spending an hour trying to get back for the SAO orb or something I can get AFK and not having to bash my head into walls repeatedly and spamming dash. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like it's worth it, to be honest. I don't know, that's just me. I think it's cool. It's a cool concept. I like it, but I I would like to have my outside orbs have upgrades. Please. <laughs> so that's just kind of my opinion, guys. Y'all let me know. Let me know what floor you've gotten to, if this helps at all. Um, the shrines, currently, most people should be about getting 8 to 10. Um, I'm actually really excited for shrine 7 because... That's 25% damage. I don't remember what the others were, but you get dashes, you get movement speed, mount speed. You do get a few really nice things uh, that kind of make you go zippy a little bit. So, All right, there you go, plebs. Uh, y'all feel free to share the maps. I'll just ask that y'all credit me with them. I already know I'm probably not gonna, and they're gonna get spread everywhere, but hopefully those maps help. So, once I know floor five, I will edit the current map that I have and give y'all an actual map. So.